Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking about innovation, and specifically how to inspire it in others. Let's get started. As leaders, we know that innovation is critical. We can't get where we want to go without changing something. We need new ideas, we need new processes, we need new products, we need innovation. Pretty much everyone would agree with that, and everyone would agree that it's not just the leader's job to do it alone. It's not like you are the innovator and everyone else is just doing their regular job. No, you need the team to be innovative, not just you. And so to, to think about this idea of how do I inspire innovation in others is a critical one, an important one, and it's why I've created this episode. Now, innovation, there's a couple of steps in innovation. Uh, in short, today in this video, I'm going to talk about it in just a couple of chunks. The first chunk of which, though, is to come up with an idea. you got to have an idea before there can be innovation. Regardless of what that idea is, it must be there. And so a few weeks ago on my blog, I recommended a great book. It's a children's book. Here it is. The book is called, What Do You Do With an Idea? Now, see, as human beings, we're getting ideas all the time. The question is, what do we do with them? And most of us don't know what to do with them. And what we need to do as leaders is help people know what to do with them. Because this book talks about a personal journey. And I'm going to suggest that we can't get to innovation in our teams unless we first get the ideas out. Right? Let me give you a couple things that I think we can do. Innovation is more than just the idea. But without the idea, we can't get any innovation. So let's think about that and start there. Now... I'm going to encourage you to order this book, buy this book, and read this book, right? But you can't do that right now, but what you can do is click on the picture uh, above me right now, and you can actually watch a video of the book being read to you. Remember, it's a children's book. It doesn't take long. I'm going to encourage you to buy a copy, but, I, but when we're done here, just take a click and uh, watch the reading of it because I think you'll find it quite powerful. It'll ra raise some really important points. The first thing it requires of us as a leader is that we must let people know that we want their ideas. We have to let them know that we want innovation in general, but that their ideas matter. So we must expect them, we must encourage them, we must want people to share their ideas. Let them know that their ideas matter. And the second thing we need to do is reward all the ideas. Not every idea that you have is brilliant. Not every idea that anyone has is brilliant. But one of them is. And one of them needs to be uh, polished and dusted and examined, and then something will come of it. So we've got to reward all the ideas because some of those will become the things that we want to take action on. Third thing is we have to model this ourselves. We can't just be going out and asking people, where are your ideas? Where are your ideas? Where are your ideas? We've got to be thinking, of, uh, identifying them, capturing them, th them ourselves, and bringing them forward just like everybody else's. Our ideas aren't any better than anybody else's, but we need to be modeling this as well. And the last thing is, once we have ideas, we're not going to take action on all of them. This is like um, you're trying to find the ones that have the greatest opportunity, the greatest value for us, but then innovation doesn't come from just the idea. It comes from taking action. So we must take action. So we can inspire innovation in our teams first by uh, allowing for and rewarding and encouraging the ideas. And then secondly, to take action on at least some of those ideas to move them forward so we get the results. There's where the innovation comes. That's our job as a leader, is to inspire innovation, means to inspire and encourage the ideas, and then encourage people to take action along with you to get the innovation itself. So let's sort of summarize that with today's tweet. If you want more innovation, encourage it, reward it, model it, and apply it. Now, when I wrote my book, Remarkable Leadership, I identified 13 competencies for leaders, and one of them was around innovation, that remarkable leaders value innovation and make that happen. And so that's one of the things that we talk about in our Remarkable Leadership Workshop. We talk about how do we make innovation happen, and we go into a lot more detail than what I just did in this very high-level set of ideas here. We talk about the importance of innovation and how to make it happen. Just one of the many things that happens during the Remarkable Leadership Workshop, a learning experience for leaders like you, where you come around a group of peers and with me, we learn together uh, in an encouraging, supportive, fun environment 
where we learn practical ideas so you can leave able to apply them and feel confident in the application of those ideas. You can learn all about joining me for a future workshop on this page, and I hope you'll do exactly that. Now, before I go, as always, I want your feedback. We want to know what we're doing right, what you liked about this, what you think we could do better, but also what ideas you have or what questions you have for future episodes, because I plan on doing this for a long time. I plan on doing it with ideas that come from you. Thanks so much for joining us. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Remarkable TV.